Good evening, saints of God. I want to thank God for bringing all of us together under his feet. We all know and we believe. In Matthew chapter 18, verse 20, the Bible tells us, Where two or three are gathered in my name, I am in their midst. What do we say to God? I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the Coming King Bible Lecture Series. It is a moment where we're going to study about God and know more about our coming king. And now say ebre eti ayenti ye twa ye niam no bia go. Me fa kwenye we so na mama munyina kwa aba e di aba ye ndwuma di eso. I want to remind you that this program is live on Hope Channel Ghana and it's also live on all our social media handles. I want to add that it's also live on Kaswa Central Facebook account. Wherever you are watching us from, we want to say thank you for your time and we believe God will bless you for the time you are spending with us. Without much I do, we have special singing groups here with us who are going to minister to us in music. And so I want to take this opportunity to welcome the stewards, the stewards from Kaswa Central to come and minister to us in, in songs. The stewards is right here with us and they are going to minister to us in songs. We thank God for this opportunity. Friends, stay tuned and listen to these wonderful songs that our friends and our brothers stewards are going to give to us. And you know, Yamamunina Kwaba, Ediba, the Coming King Bible Lecture Series is so. And Jesus Christ, links share it with your friends and I believe it will be a blessing to all our friends you know all of us here and all our friends joining us online want to tell you that your time with the Lord will never be in vain the Lord will surely bless you and so thank you me at a time in easy car. One of my phone, my old bonny, me woo. And see, now my bass are known for young men, for me bonny, Jamie. Ah, or in for young men. My bawani, me woo. Me at a time. A time in his car. One of my phone, my old bonny, me woo. And Tina, my bass, I don't for your me, for me bonny, chame. Oh, so the poor pammy ding, I'm fearing come on my mong and ah. Oh, Bamba, my tongue for a siri, I could see the bend. Oh, so the poor pammy ding, I'm fearing come on my mong and ah. Oh, Bamba, my tongue for a siri, I could see the bend. Oh, Mira, fetch it. I'm in for fab, fetch it. Fetch it. The best of the pneumonia. I don't for you, so my boy. My boy, it's a fact. Oh, it is. Fetch it. You will be doing quang, who may move. Say, who damn me, I am my boy. Mr. Wapa, Papa, Fawn Satu Mizukura, Mammy, who feet is there to Jerema, and Yami Mamma Town for that. We run, yes, it's a Facho, it's a Facho, to a meeting, Pango Memo. I'm fit for me, for me, I would be right. 
Bawa kuma fufro tu mimu Oba tampa Mamitina wadumuda Au shiramida Chirami wakwai Naman kweti uman koye boni Afe miso minyu hong hong Fiwi miso kurai So mi betra uyansia Hong hong ne miso wana Mission Fame Fama Kuma Fama Pene Nima Gina Yesu Fame Kura Oh So Repo Fame Ding A Fearing Kongo Mamung Ana O Ben Mama Tamfu A Siri A Kosi Da Ben Oh So Repo Fame Ding A Fearing Kongo Mamung Ana Open my mouth, I'm full. I see we, I can see the bend. Oh, mira, fache, I'm in for fa, fache, fache. Never say when the moon ya. I don't fool you so much, fache. I'm in for fa, fache, fache. Fache, to the meeting, kwangu memu. Yeah, it's so we buy. A bafu what you jump with in a nim. Yeah, it's so we buy. A bafu what you jump with in a nim. And you know the nini da denti. A dangi na bebu wegu. And you know the nini da denti. A dangi na bebu wegu. Sika begu mountain so she. Ya padi ya ina bese, ya chance ya di ya pura peni na e, ya mfanyiko si si, di ya pura peni na, ya mfanyiko baby ya, na si biansi ya ina bese, biansi ya ina bese ya say, ya padi ya di. Yem fang kosi, yem fang ko baby ya Adam pe yinsu, yen tu mi fa binko Asa mande ya minyam Me piripa na mako heaven E no manjina ya dijain Asa mwina mi tia siye E no manjina ya dijain ya kankake Asa mwina mi tia siye Kosi se mi koshi ya wapa nimbi ya wadi na bi wasa yisu Ono no betuwe mi se Mi bato bukura na metuwe wasiye Oso mi sa di mi koji na fidye be Apu wa titi ya ye di ye vi ye 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 Ano betuwe mi se Mi papi ye wali pa na se fidye yo Na mi beka wasa mma chua ma wahunu se No ma jina ya hiti jain I see a fidye, the fufuro mu pa ne ya guro. A fidye, a fidye, the fufuro mu pa ne ya guro. Na di fufuro mu ne timito, she. A ziga fufuro mu ne timito. Na si wobi pe si wobi she fidye yimpa. A di se wotu ya si kansa. Na nzu she, a ne ne tibye mu. Yem fang kosi she. Na dia ya wunu fufrone ya Ochi wana ya nchancha ma Echenze dia ya mbwa penyina Ya mfanko baby ya Na se viansi yinyi na beshi ya Viansi yinyi na beshi ya say Eja padie yi Ya mfanko si Ya mfanko baby ya Adam pe yinsu Yen tu mi fa binko Asa mande ya minia Me prepa Na mako heaven Amen Thank you very much See us for ministering Unto the most high God We thank you for this wonderful performance At this point in time I would want to take this opportunity to introduce to you the speakers for tonight. Our speaker for our 10 days Bible lecture series is a man of God 
that the Lord has been man, that the Lord has blessed. And we believe that the Lord will use him mightily to speak to us. So on behalf of the Southern Ghana Union Conference and the Northern Ghana Union Conference, I want to take this opportunity to introduce to you the speaker for the Coming King Bible Lecture Series in the person of Pastor Chris, Chrissy Lambert. Hallelujah. The interpreter for this Bible Lecture Series happens to be the president of the Pioneer Ghana Conference in the person of Pastor Richard Esiedu in Trafa. Before they mount the pulpit to speak to our hearts and our minds, I want the Kaswa Central Choir to minister to us the theme song. Right after the theme song, the voice you're going to hear will be the voice of the Son of God, Pastor Chris Lambert. And you are known Jumedi Enuan Yegusuono. And Chakra Yebete Osofwa. Or Bekasa Chaye, Ewa Nedu Jumedi Emo. Osofwa Chris Chrissy Lambert. The Coming King Choir. Our name is Kaswa Central. I'm sorry, ha. At the end, theme song, number my year. Theme song, no sipe. And here, our betiano, aye, Pastor Chris, Chrissy Lambert. Stay tuned. God bless you. A chill. Give me you, my dear, say, Emra may come as a be after our real home. They say, Oh, how are we more? 
Yamodia Abba and Yama Ahuru Musu. Empress Sadie Ebebo Abusium. It's a way in a Marija Yeba. Se wa wabi e eko ye ana se wa hawbi wo mono. Se wa wari yin su mpwa. Na wo jen hon se wa be kwa wari mwa. Vai bono e ma ya kwa nchira hodwa e be ma wa wari yin chmi e jina. Na we nina ya futu wa e fi uchwede ampo nyanko po nchen. Yeah, or she said, our real nothing was stressed on them. Say, what for the best room consua, crumple for us? What for can who will be a single? I already beat me, you know. I didn't see Anna, oh my, when you mean a queen, you are real anymore. Yami ya tumo wa ochire nyumrenso ya beshe enijie sembi ya ya uwa ya wawarimu. Anajubi ya ya beka wari ya huwa semu ansana ansempa ya ka huwa semu nangasaba. Ya bompa yese unyami beka uhu seni ya beya ubiti miyabe nyumribi ya. And you may have yes, she moya, she you may dear say. So, we be all why you bet me dear who are so are you who yet? And son, I may shall see you know. And son, I may shall see you may say. Mamma Boshe, a whole room in Sabi. Anthony Bashasiano. May walk at this way, be free, Monchain. You decay. Mr. Munina said, and you may be a Yemia and he said, Baba Ebrano and Sana as you may be an assistant. At this rate, toss me, you know. So, what bar one or young Kumu Bimra? And he toss me and son, and he said, Even that you please help us to be fed in the name of God Almighty. And safety really come true. Emra Boshe Ahuro into me, Emma Moo. A bra whom near my dear Honto Sunso and Koye. A fey, ye brain so, a true dear Ninia Mansu. Way a young woman, a young woman, a way and our Hinan one Casa India. Or Hine, I would give you a scene as well. No bow or so near Sassy. 
Oh, he no aye can no no. We ene can you hold seven na? I didn't see any make can say just yet here hold to chokron chrono so. If you say oh he ne ah he no mo he no ne seven ye. Oh he no aye can no no ne seven ye. The Bible. And until an American see a bit media, who want to trust someone so. May per such trust someone on Casa Ekabi be fun home. Oh, there be a Bible on Casa Eka fun home. Sixteen. They were moved by the Holy Spirit. Nemo, Unyankoponi Pacron Chrono. Then in John chapter 2, and some of the Amayan so you can see it here. So, I really want to continue talking about this if my friend Chief by bread alone. What Shros said, and you can see it in the He also said, It is written that ye shall not tempt the Lord thy God. He also said, For the third time, he said, For it is written, You shall worship. The Lord your God and Him only you shall serve. Yes, so say what you say. A radin yanko pongo to ena sumuno. After his baptism was led into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit. Sasemi esi ebra Yesu obo esi. Yes, so Jesus quoted the scripture to overcome Satan. Yesu edi chro kron krono edi di osef fono sun kone. Then he also said in John chapter seventeen verse seventeen that the Bible is truth. You had a ti dun sun che mu dun sun no Yesu akase no kre edi chro kron krono. Yes, so Jesus quoted scripture as the authority for everything he was teaching. And it Yesu edi Bible no ye juma se tu mia efrike di ampo nyanko ponche. Yes, so Jesus quoted the Bible and stated that it was true. Yes, so Edithron Kron Kron here, you must say, Ayan Okre. Now, let us see how the Bible prophecies confirm its divine came and passed. Babylon by any came. The Middle Persian Empire came after that. Middle Persian so by any came. The Grecian Empire came. Greece also Followed by the Roman Empire. And a Roman so by. Now and it has come to pass. Now when it come to Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19. Say And you read from Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 37. Jeremiah It says, it says after Babylon's destruction. After its destruction, it will never be inhabited again. Was it one sign and chitri Babylon bio? And that you can see it for yourself. And also you didn't want to see it. Babylon could see it. It talks about moral decline and decline of spirituality in the last days. So in that idea, you know, a brabwa kwai a bekofum. Who who mu di any who na mu di any na. All these prophecies have been fulfilled. Nini na anso a bem kumse. This comes to prove that the Bible, the good book of the king, is true and can be trusted. Now, when you actually say you bet me the one to your crown crown also. Now let's talk about the natural world. It says the entirety of your word is truth. Say what some you know I am a crave. Yes, the Holy Spirit, who guided each Bible writer, always speaks the truth. And it says, Hong Kong Kuna or Khan, a trough for Nina, Hono, and a crane or the Ayajuma. I want to look at a few of these statements confirmed by science. Maybe say, Ya care, Senior, a body a moon, and a perform so a can for home. When you read from Job chapter 26, verse 7, Job, it said, You don't see any more, and so no. It says, God hangs the earth on nothing. What train said, Onyan Kopon. A boy, a sassy. Yeah, he created this world and he hung it on nothing. Ah, uh, and she see so. Now, scientists have been struggling with this for many years. 
And But today they have confirmed. After so many years, when Job mentioned it, Job being the oldest book of the Bible, mentioned it that the earth created by the king of the universe hangs on nothing. It has taken scientists decades to be able to prove that. Bible no Job can say when you are a boy, I say, you know, Science for the Afamo and Fiebremo and Sana Umusa and Jimoe. Now, when you come to the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 22, Isaiah and Sonia, what can you? The Bible talks about the world being round, the eggs being round. A giant says, Sonia, assassin, and so a year crew wafa. And it has taken centuries for scientists to confirm this. And when you come to Job chapter 28, verse 25, Job, what you know, what you know, no. it talks about wind having weight. It says, God, you establish it to have weights. And it has taken scientists decades to come to the realization that air has weights. And he said, Job, who manage who are dancing, he said, as I say, a more do. Never signs a phone in February, Primo, and Sana, or who said, Sana, I assassinate you. All these statements from the Bible that have been proven by signs and make it in life. The Bible. Near Bible, no kind, no signs a phone, I get to me. Now, when city who are dancing, he said, Bible, no, you bet me the who at a sofa. Now, I want to talk about health. Are the Bible statements about health still relevant in today's world? You know, the Bible talks about health. Health. We want to see whether whatever the Bible says is still relevant in our time. Now, in third John chapter 1 verse 2. Yes. Yes. He says, the Bible says, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in good health. The Bible can say, Just as your soul prospers. So you see, God wants his creation to be happy and healthy. He wants all of us to be healthy and happy. Now, I want to take you to some few examples of Bible health principles that confirm its divine inspiration. When you come to Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 12 and 13, the Bible says that cover body waste with debt. You know, Moses' command that body waste should be buried outside Israel's encampment was thousands of years ahead of its time. Moses Israel and When human waste is not properly disposed of, disease can quickly spread via the water supply. This Bible council has saved millions of lives throughout history. Now come with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 8. It says, neither let us commit sexual immorality. You know, sexual immorality refers to any inappropriate sexual conduct. And it says, now you can have a comprehensive list of sexual immorality recorded in the book of Leviticus chapter 
By following this Bible council, people will have little reason to fear unwanted pregnancies or sexually transmitted diseases such as syphilis or HIV AIDS. Now let me talk about alcoholism. In Proverbs chapter 23, verse 29 to 32, the Bible says, Leave alcoholic beverages alone. Alcoholic beverages are damaging to our bodies, so we are counseled to leave it alone. You know, if everyone followed this Bible advice, millions of alcoholics will become sober. And they will become helpful to citizens. And millions of broken families will be reunited. And thousands of lives will be saved from drunk driving. And government and, and, government and business leaders will make clear minded decisions. You know, God not only tells us how to succeed and have joy amid today's challenging problems. But he also gives us the miraculous power to do it so that we can live long. The Bible health principles are still relevant today and are desperately needed for our survival. Now let me talk about history. History. Are the Bible's historical statements accurate? And also a Bwama Bible in Samoa or Kano. Come with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 19. The Bible says, I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Yes, sometimes evidence might not yet be available to prove certain historical claim found in Scripture. But evidence has repeatedly surfaced proving the validity of the Bible. And it's important that we take critical note of this. The Lord has time that he proves everything about his word. You know, the Bible is very clear about this position. Critics of the Bible have been proven wrong repeatedly. They have been proven wrong many times. You know, people have criticized the word of God. But the Bible have proved them wrong many times. The Bible has records of people who lived. It talks about, I mean, you know, where people live, places, it talks about events and many miracle things that happen. The Bible, Bible has no a record. And it's important that we take note of it. For years, skeptics said the Bible was unreliable. 
And if I be brave, if you are a Kemono, you are more a can say, Bible, you ain't been for your home to so. Why are they saying? I didn't know what I said. Why they say the book of the king is not reliable? Why? I didn't know what I said. You ain't been for your home to Bible, no so. Because they say that the Bible mentions the nation hated or the hated nation. It's and saying you are more a can say, Bible, no, a good year. It mentioned the name of a country called Haiti. Haiti is no. Amaino Ekasa Etiano. As recorded in Deuteronomy. Umanimu for a babontia bekasa sam penifuni natural recipe. Now these Hetis also said the Bible record of Moses was not reliable because Moses made mention of the word writing. Because they don't believe that during those times of Moses, there was anything that is called writing. There was no art that is called writing. Moses And for that to appear in the Bible, for that to appear in the Bible. They don't believe that the Bible is reliable. They don't believe They don't believe that the Bible is reliable. Bible is reliable. Now, when you read from Exodus chapter 14, verse 25, the Bible talks about wheeled vehicles. Wheeled vehicles. Now, this one too, they don't accept it. Because they don't believe that wheeled vehicles existed during the time of Moses. But today, their own findings their own findings today prove that all those evidences that have been stated in the Bible truly existed hallelujah at one time the 39 kings of ancient Israel and Judah were known only from the Bible records and because of that, critics don't believe in the Bible. But when, but when archaeologists found independent ancient records that mention many of these kings, the Bible record was then proved accurate by these critics. In the name of God, Hallelujah. Now, when there other factors about the Bible that proves its divine inspiration? The Bible says in Second Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. 2 Timothy 3.16 no? hey, well, see, All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And so yes, one of the greatest miracles of the Bible is its unity. The unity of the Bible. Just listen to this. This Bible is made up of 66 books. Six. Yes, and they were written on three continents. Three continents. And then in three languages. By 40 different people. Such as kings. Kings. Those who wrote the my. Bible, there are about 40 people, and among these 40, we have kings. We have shepherds. Yeah, we have scientists. Yeah, we have attorneys. Yeah, we have and we have an army general. Yeah, we have fishermen. We have priests and a physician. 
These are the people that were used to write the Bible. And it was written over a period of about 1,500 years. And they wrote on the most controversial subjects you know it was controversial to them because there were people in most cases who never met together as a team to consider what they wanted to write and again it was written by artists whose education and background varied greatly Yet through it all, it seems totally inconceivable that the 66 books maintain harmony one with another. And even when new concepts on a certain subject are expressed, they do not undermine what other Bible writers say on the same subject. And this is very amazing. Very, very amazing. You know, as we are here during these lectures, if at the end of this presentation, then I call ten amongst you to share with me what you heard tonight. I am sure the ten persons will be contradicting themselves because they'll, each of them will write entirely a different story. And they say, Yet the Bible, penned by 40 writers over 1,500 years, reads as if it was written by one mind. And so, Bible no in fear a pim any a head no more, the true and any pedriana or true, no woman in our be on Kuntia, the uncle, and let's send your back of one or true nina. But let me tell you something. Yes, truly. It was written by one mind. It was written by one mind. One mind. And how do I prove that? When you read from 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 21, he says, The holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Yes. So it is the Holy Spirit. He moved them all. So he is the real. Bible author. And that's why the Bible is very unique. That is why it is second to none. And that is why you can trust it. Now accepting Christ say a Christ and obeying scripture changes a drunken. It changes an immoral person. It changes a profane sinner into a loving, sober, pure Christian. And this one, skeptics can never explain this fact. Now, when people accept the Bible, can we find some evidence of Bible inspiration in the lives of people who accept the Bible? It becomes very kind. What evidences for Bible inspiration emerges when we compare Old Testament prophecies of the coming Messiah with New Testament Jesus' life? What we find when we compare Old Testament 
Yes. When we compare the two, the old and the new, what can we find? The Bible said about Jesus. The Old Testament predictions of the Messiah were so specific. Was indeed the Messiah. Jesus and I say yes, There are more than there are more than 125 of these prophecies. Questions after the presentation. We will share them to you after the presentation. And I know the Lord will bless you as you go through them. Now let me ask a question. What advantage does a person have who accepts the Bible as God's inspired word? Some 119 verse 100 says, he's saying here that he's able to understand things very clearly and, and, and more than others because he depends on the Bible. And David says again in Psalm 119 verse 98. He says, you make me wiser than my enemies. Then when you come to Isaiah chapter 55 verse 9, it says, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts than your thoughts. This is what the word of the Lord is saying. You see a person who accepts the word of God will discover answers to many mysteries that confound those seeking only worldly answers. For instance, there is no known way life could spring up from known life. And they say, and they say, Except the Bible tells me that, that God gave life in the first place. And scientists also now know that all life of all human life today came from one woman. And this is exactly what the Bible teaches us. And it said, God created Adam and Eve. And the Bible no did what and see. No one was born Adam and Eve. And Eve became the first mother. Eve became the first mother. And from her, it has continued till today. Today, scientists now accept this fact. And now. It is only in the Bible that you can also know that God created the world in six literal 24 hour days. It is only in the Bible that you will know that a worldwide flood destroyed every living thing, sea life, and only left only what was left in the ark. And he said, Bible don't quanso any diho adansia. I or no abreso. And also it is only in the Bible. Only in the Bible. That you can find how all these languages you speak today came about. It is only the Bible that can tell you that nothing existed before God. And it said, Nebri Bia Niho and Sana Unyame. It is only in the Bible that, that you can understand the future, what it holds for us. No human believe the Bible. And you will always be ahead of the wisdom of mere humans. I want us to examine some recent events that have brought the power and appeal of the Bible into a sharp focus. 
Pepe Bunia Feyanche, near Bible, and also. You know, the increasing number of natural disasters. And the rise of worldwide terrorism. These are all signs predicted by the Bible. Which says that at the end of time on the earth, distress of nations, perplexities, the sea and the waves shall be roaring. The Bible has said all this. And you can talk about the tsunami of December 26, 2004. And it's where over 250,000 people lost their lives. You can, you can talk about the hurricane of Katrina. Rip through the new islands, destroying um, properties and human beings. And from a burning swadin to burning a bow, America, Mumu, and Mamu, and also Nipa Bibre, and a hero among them. All these are a proof that the Bible is true and can be trusted. When you now address the Bible, no air in the crane, you bet me they have water soon. The Bible also predicted that nations will rise against nations. Now, Bible no I train say am I best sorry am I so? That is according to the book of Matthew chapter twenty-four verse seven. Matthew tia du enu na inchemu ensono san wokan. All these are prophecies that proves the Bible. We ayang komsha abemu a address say Bible no ibet me edi ayajuma. If you remember what happened in September eleven two thousand and one, where people lost their lives, then you will accept. That the Bible prophecies are true. And you want to more, see what America more. I better say, in fear, you know, back more. You probably bring a few among the Bible no tomb. If you are following the ongoing conflicts in the Middle East and the ongoing torment of terrorism that have brought hardship and ache into the lives of people, then you will surely have to believe. The Bible. Zia kwa akuone o hawa hurua e koswa mama so a edu o hawa abani pa abra bom eneda yia kasi ya jitu muse Bible no. And you will agree with me that surely the Bible is the only source of strength and hope for mankind. Na wedi huwa dansi ya se Bible nukuto eni eni daswa ni peni na yebetu mdi ya huwa tu so na abuwa yeni amietu mdi yeye. Some people question the Bible because it speaks it speaks of the world being created instead of evolving. When it comes to Luke chapter 18, verse 8. Luke chapter 18, verse 8. Jesus asked this question. Yes, be me. He said, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? You see, the theory of evolution, however, is not being widely discredited by scientists themselves. Before now, Scientists believe that a single cell is able to multiply itself. And it's able, and it's able to evolve into so many things, to so many stages. Making the accidental origin of life in a single cell not just improbable but impossible. Today, scientists believe that, that theory cannot be depended on. And today, they are believing that there is a supernatural, a superpower somewhere beyond the blues. 
Today they believe that this world did not evolve, that human beings did not evolve. That is what the Bible stands for. Now let me prove to you why the Bible is your best chance for lasting happiness and peace. Come with me to Psalm 119 verse 105. The Bible says, your word is a lamp unto my feet and light Why to my path. Me me then in John chapter 15 verse 11, Jesus said, these things I have spoken to you that your joy may be full. You see, all these are the, the statement from the Bible that proves that the word of God, when accepted, can change one's life from a worse situation, from a hopeless situation, to a very good life. When you read from Matthew chapter 5 verse 16, it says, let your light so shine before men. That they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Then there is one big promise. There is one big promise. Recorded in John chapter 14 verse 3. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus said. Jesus said Jesus, I will come again. I receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. You know, why am I saying that it is only the word of God that can give you lasting peace and happiness? Why am I saying that? It is because it is only the Bible that answers life's most puzzling questions. For instance, where did I come from? Where did I come from? The Bible tells me that God created me. And the Bible tells me that now, God created me. Now, and what am I here for? What am I doing here? The Bible tells me that I'm here to fulfill God's purpose. So it is the Bible that helps me to understand who really I am. Why am I here? The Bible says our aims for life today should be to discover God's perfect practical answers for our problems. To accept, to accept God's guidance and to accept his offer of salvation from sin. And to become more like him one day. What does the future hold for me? You don't need to guess. You don't need to guess. Not only will you experience more peace and joy today. I'm saying that not only will you experience peace and joy today, the Bible says Jesus will come very soon. He is the king that is coming. And he is the one who must come. Because this world is for him by the power of creation. 
He is the king that is coming. Because an enemy has invaded his kingdom. And he has promised to come and take us away. And he said, "Wase ya bossa obe ban wabe fayako." Oh, there is going to be a supreme joy and happiness with Jesus Christ. Oh, yani Christ Jesu ebe chuna ani Jesu unkomo. How did I know all this? How did I know all this? E dai na mihu sani yame njina. The Bible taught me so. The Bible taught me all this. Bible no kawe njina huasem. Now let me ask you my last but one question. Men samu e katu ani. Are you thankful to God for lovingly answering life's most puzzling questions through the Bible? Now that it has been proven, now that it has been proven that the Bible is the inspired and only infallible and authoritative written word of God, Belonging to God, the, uh, the Almighty King of Kings, uh, yeah, yeah. who is soon to come uh, to redeem us based upon His Word, the Bible. Can now can I now respectfully invite you? So saying, can you dear mo men to men some friends say to accept his words? So we begin as some no atum. Can I respectfully invite you? So make me atu ama on atu men some friends say to depend on the words the Bible. So what do we want? I bet to onyame as some no suana. Can I respectfully? Tell you tonight that there is nothing you can trust except the Bible. Oh yes, that is the truth. And nothing else. As we prepare to meet the king. The only way you can be thoroughly prepared and be ready to be received by the coming king who is Jesus Christ you must accept the Bible because this is his manual that can prepare you it is my prayer that the Lord will bless you even as you accept his words. I invite you wherever you are to bow your heads as you seek the Lord in prayer. My dear Father in heaven, we thank you so much for speaking to us tonight. Thank you, Lord, for revealing to us that your word is the only source of happiness, is the only manual to prepare us to receive you, our coming king. I thank you for the lives of all my audience and listeners here throughout the country and abroad, that your presence will be with them and you will bless them. The Lord bless